hello there and i'm here and you know in my last i am here oh my gosh okay captain obvious in my last video if you watched it i was having a bit of a rant about the fact that i couldn't find a long sleeved top that would cover my belly button like anywhere because apparently all of the fashion designers maybe not fashion designers but you know like the zara the h&m pretty little thing i know it, i i looked on the pretty little thing website against my better judgment i did but they all seem to want to think that if you're a woman you want to crop top you want to show off your midriff you don't you don't want to cover it up you just want to show the world and be chilly on your midriff you know what i mean that might be everyone else it's not me so anyway i just wanted to announce look i found one i found one and it suitably is covering my midriff so if you've been in a similar boat to me and you've not been able to find a top that covers your midriff i know it's a bit of a specific issue to be having right now then get yourself an asos because um this is where i got this top from and it's fantastic do you know what i've been watching the real hospice of atlanta you know like the earlier seasons kenya does the i'm gone with the wind fabulous as she twirls out i love it i don't like kenya no way jose but i love the gone with the wind and then the twirling out at my next business meeting at work if somebody says something that disgruntles me i'm going to stand up grab my pen and i will say i've gone with the wind fabulous twirl 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 and i'll be out there I'm definitely not going to do that anytime soon but anyway guys so the reason why we are here today is because i wanted to do an aliexpress haul which i know wow it's been so long since i actually said that but this is not like any other aliexpress haul you've ever seen from me today why i hear you ask because it's not about makeup no it's about diamond art so you may know i got really into diamond art i'm still into it but i have kind of been a bit distracted by embellishing like i am an embellishing queen right now i am captain embellishments like i think i prefer like doing my own thing like sticking things on like i like drumming to my own beat like sticking to my own beat but do you know what i've just realized what a disaster this fake tan was and there oh no oh no oh no i've just realized as i was talking i was thinking something's not quite right and i knew my hair was not but then i've just now noticed oh no oh no that's not great is it i'm a disaster i'm so sorry guys please forgive me for that oh no it's terrible look the closer up you go the worse it gets i'm just gonna stay back here do you know what it's fine because why i'm gone with the wind fabulous twirl 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 but anyway guys i'm going to show you some diamond art pieces that i bought from aliexpress prior to moving on to my next addiction when i was in the midst of the diamond art addiction i got these and, and i just wanted to show you today because i know a lot of you guys love diamond art i am going to be probably selling these on my etsy store or shop like we call it shop in the uk but i know like in america it's like store and i know there are other people watching who are from neither the uk or america anyway it's, i'm sorry i don't know what you call a place that you go to buy things but anyway so yes i've got all the things here i'm probably going to be selling them on the etsy store so if you are interested then you can check that out my etsy store is called ott iced out ott iced out over the top iced out do you like what i did there i know guys she, she's great she's great at coming up with names fantastic gone with the wind fantastic but anyway guys i've not even opened these yet like they're still in the envelopes so i'm going to open them i'll show you them i'm also going to be showing you the images which will show you like the colors a bit better um, so that, that you can probably see them and by the way the reason why i wanted to just as well um make a video on this was because i was blown away with the range of options from aliexpress for diamond art all throughout my addiction i was really like just buying diamond art from amazon which was great but after i'd done all of the nightmare before christmas ones i got a bit bored there wasn't that many options and then i got some from shine which the quality was okay but it just wasn't quite on the same path so i liked amazon but i 
exhausted all my options. AliExpress definitely has the widest range, in my opinion, of diamond art at the most affordable prices. If you like me, like things that are a little bit quirky, a little bit edgy. Basically, I think a lot of diamond art just tends to be like landscapes, animals in baskets. Disney films, weird little fairies. Anyway guys, right, I'm just gonna get on and show you this and I wanted to just say, I recommend AliExpress if, if you're into Diamond Art. If you're into Diamond Art, you probably know that anyway. So I'm just going to, oh, not show you my dress. I mean, no, nobody's coming around. I, could you imagine? Like, I, I don't think anyone's coming around. You know, like when YouTubers get all funny about like, oh, oh, can't show you my dress. It's like, nobody's coming to your house. Maybe for a big YouTuber, maybe people are, but I mean, nobody's coming to my house. And if you did, I would welcome you. I'd say hello. But in reality, I probably would not answer the door if I was not expecting a delivery. I'd be hiding behind my sofa, telling the cats, shh, be quiet. We're not in, we're not in. So, because I don't answer the door, I just don't like it when, I... oh no, oh no, this is a disaster. Oh no, this is me being me living my careless lifestyle, having no respect for things or my own money. I cut into this with, with my scissors and um, yeah, typically in the same way that when you drop a piece of toast, it lands butter down. I've cut into one of the crystal art things. So luckily for me, my addiction to diamond art is mostly over, so it's fine, but oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, I guess I won't be selling this one on Etsy. Okay, so, the, oh, jeez, oh, hello there, hello. Go on with the wind fabulous. Oh, by the way, right, have you seen those videos where people, like, put a courgette on the floor, the zucchini, if you're in America, I'm sorry, I don't know what the word is for everyone else in the world. I feel so uninclusive. Oh, do you know what? I can't take the thing off because... Then I can't sell it. Well, I can't sell it anyway. Actually, this is the one that my son wanted to do. So I'm not going to open it, but I'll put the picture of it here. It's like a sphinx cat. I noticed that on AliExpress, the diamond art was also really good because it was really, really colourful. And for me, if I'm doing a diamond art, I want it to be colourful. Like, you don't just want it to be like one or two colours because, oh my gosh, that's boring. You know, when you get like a big patch of like black or like forest green, it's just so boring, so boring. Like I, mean, I want lots of colours, lots of changing of, you know, different diamonds. But anyway, this one looks really, really good. Alex is going to be doing this one. So I'm going to be somehow trying to get all of the beads back in it, their bead thing, which I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Probably not. But anyway, okay, so I opened up the package and like all of them are intricately packed within an inch of their life and they're all sealed and because I do want to try and sell these on Etsy I don't really think it's professional of me to start like cutting into them because you can't really see anything anyway because they've all got this is my eyes annoying me they've all got the you know the protective kind of cover on them so I'm just going to put up the pictures here so that you can see and you can probably like you can see better anyway with the, the pictures so uh, yeah so anyway I hope you like the range the range is great and I would definitely like check that out if you're into diamond art so as you know i'm into embellishing at the moment it's like my new hobby it's a vibe i've got some of my new creations on my etsy store please forgive me because i don't have a clue what i'm doing with the etsy store i'm literally just like i'm learning as i go along uh, my stats tell me that nine people have visited it, it's been a, what, a week so you know could, I, I'm not getting disheartened or anything because I've not really like promoted it because I've got loads of other like creations that I've made that I've just not put on there yet what I've realized is for me I'm really into the actual creating but I find the whole businessy side of it like the you know uploading the pictures writing a description putting all the tags in there I find that part like really mundane so I, I've said Andres is my assistant he's still learning the ropes I hope that one day he can fully take over all the admin side of the business and I mean that it will be work experience for him so this is one of my creations I'm working on I'm working on about five I can't just do one at a time so this is the lid isn't she beautiful look at that Oh, this is a tumbler, by the way, so you put a straw in there, that's the lid. By the way, I love the pink and this kind of minty kind of greeny colour together. 
and then at the bottom I'm doing these kind of pearly silvery cabochons and then I'm going to be doing like a clear backed crystal drip that's going to be predominantly silvery or crystal clear and I'm going to have little pops of pink so yeah this lady will be available at some point anyway please like you don't have to but if you want to you can look on my look on my store slash shop um i will be putting like more things on there and um don't you don't have to buy anything like i'm not one of those people that thinks oh because i have a small business i'm a small business owner you have to like support me buy something please don't please don't spend your money responsibly like if it's not your vibe it's not your vibe i'm not gonna be butt hurt you know what i mean like it's just i'm telling you if you want to you can but don't feel like you have to like i love what what i'm doing but i'm very aware that it, it's not unique there's lots of people doing what i do a lot better so this is why i would never be successful in business because i just put myself down so anyway guys i'm gonna go but thank you so much for watching i'm sorry i couldn't like actually show you all of the diamond art but i hope that you got a good look and um yeah, go, have fun in your diamond arting. Like, I definitely do dabble. I, I've not, not gone, like, teetotal on the diamond art, but I just don't do it as much as I did. So, if you're neurodivergent or your children are neurodivergent or anyone in your, your life is neurodivergent, oh my gosh, I can't really say it, but um, I strongly recommend Try Diamond Art because it's super good for focus, concentration, it's good for relaxation, for calming your mind, if you're struggling with anxiety. You know, there's so many positive, like, benefits, I feel, of diamond art. It's not for everyone. Like, there's no way honeys would enjoy it, but, you know, I wouldn't enjoy a lot of the things. Like, he plays darts. I, I won't enjoy that. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.